Hey, what's up guys? You boys, Harley 2K7, and we are back for brand new Grand Theft Auto 5 mods video today. We're going to be playing as a member of the San Andreas Department of Transportation, and we're going to be driving the Chevy Silverado Emergency Service Incident Response Truck. So our job today as the uh, DOT is to make sure everybody on the road is safe. As you can see, everybody's just flying past. This guy's on a motorcycle. I don't know what he's thinking, but we're trying to set up a snow zone to let people People know if they're on this freeway um, going up into the county the roads are really slick so you got to make sure you have your snow uh, chains on or you got to have four-wheel drive because the roads out here are crazy so anyway guys like I said we're using this custom Silverado it actually comes with a mod that is a work in progress called VMS plus now VMS plus is actually pretty cool and I'll show you what it could do here so we can actually put different messages up as you can see we have the message about the snow zone I can also do stuff like arrows as well and also moving arrows such as this and more appropriately would be this one since we're on the uh, right side here but it's a really cool mod if you guys would like to check it out um, you can check out PNW Parks Fan website I will link it down below and you can become a Parks Benefactor and that gives you access to beta testing some of his mods such as this one VMS Plus as well as other mods that we feature on the channel such as Coastal Callouts and also updates to his other mods such as Better EMS and um, a couple other ones uh, can't think right now police tape and a couple others on his website so anyway guys we're gonna go ahead and get into today's episode like I said our job is to just try to slow down traffic here because they are just it is crazy right now guys I don't I don't really know like look at this guy right here about to pass all of this traffic on the right at that it is just crazy Oh, that sounds like it's right next to us, guys. Let's go ahead and respond to that. Looks like it's going to be just north of our location. Let's put our board down. Alright, let's roll. So this is the incident response truck, like I mentioned. It does um, have emergency sirens and lights as well. So we're going to go ahead and make our way towards this accident scene. Now it is pretty close to us, so I'm thinking we may arrive on scene before the uh, highway patrol and maybe even before EMS as well. Alright guys, so it looks like we're getting an update from our dispatcher. They're saying it's actually one of our... Yeah, it's one of our Department of Transportation plow trucks that are that's involved in the accident, so... Let's hope that our fellow DOT member is okay. Let's try to get to him as fast, but as safely as we can in here. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna actually be in the right. Really? <laughs> I hate how hard they script that thing to crash into you. Alright, so we are arriving on scene here, and just like I thought, we got here before the highway patrol. Just gonna put up our board, and for now, I'm just going to put up our arrows to the left just so that traffic will just get over a little bit give us a little bit of space to work with okay perfect so let's hop out and let's take a look at the driver and let's hope that he is okay not really sure what happened yet but obviously it looks like he skidded off the road so 
Even for the plow charts, it is not safe. How you doing, buddy? You okay? Oh, you're not looking too good. All right, you're not looking good at all. What what happened? Oh, man. It looks like he may have some injuries. All right, so let's wait for our police and EMS to get on scene. All right, so let's try to get this guy with some help here. I'm just going to get him up to my truck. Okay, so let's get EMS here, and also obviously police as well. Alright, looks like CHP is pulling up here. Okay, so Highway Patrol is on scene. How you doing, sir? Uh, do you have any ETA on EMS? Uh, this guy is is injured here. They're on the way. Okay, yeah, I know. Obviously, delayed to the snow. Okay, cool. All right, I think I can see the ambulance coming across the bridge. I could definitely hear it. CHP is just doing a little bit of investigation, make sure they get the driver information and all the details they need to know about the accident. Here is the ambulance arriving. Oh, slipping and sliding. Alright, so we're going to take him. Uh, he's gonna be transported to Sandy Shores. Okay, thank you for the update. I'll let the uh, Department of Transportation know. Perfect, so they're gonna transport him out of here. Let me um, see, oh shoot, just so I can stop. Let me see if I could um, maybe stop traffic here. Actually, no, I can't. <laughs> I forgot I took that out. Oh, okay. So EMS is transporting him. Uh, let me talk to the trooper here and see if he needs me to do anything else here. All right, sir, anything else you need from me? Oh, you yeah, have Ace towing on the way? Okay, cool. Um, Yeah, I, I could definitely do that. No problem. All right. So he wants us to shut down a lane of traffic. So we're going to put down some cones. I'm going to back the truck up a bit. And he's going to help me as well with using his car. So let's jump back into the Silverado. And we're going to carefully back up. And you know what? Let's actually put up a new message as well. So we're going to change our message to... Uh, right lane accident. So right lane accident. So the right lane is closed. Wreck ahead. Right lane closed. And left arrow. Perfect. So I'm going to carefully try to back up here. And we're going to set up our truck maybe about right here. I'm going to actually put it into the active lane of traffic. And we're gonna also work on getting some cones down here as well. So let's put this truck right about here. And let's hope traffic pays attention. So let's get these cones down as quickly as we can. Let's grab a couple of these. Okay, so we'll start back here with our cones. Right here should be good, so let's place our first cone. And let's just. Probably gonna have to just clear all these cars really quickly.
Are you mentally slow? <laughs> yeah, they'd be so rude, man. Oh gosh, damn. You look like you have an issue. You're the one that's driving into a cone. Alright, let me try a different position actually. Let's try. You piece of shit. Let's try it like this. So put that right there. Oh my god. Trying to see exactly where the lane is. It's so hard to see it. It looks like Okay, it's right there. I can see it now. So we'll put this right here. Alright, so this should give enough room for Ace towing so that they'll be able to get their heavy rotator in and do whatever they have to do to get this plow truck off or out of the ditch and back onto the road. I was gonna say, it looks like I veered off. Hold up, I messed up. Uh, let's just remove these. Alright, let's try that one more time. A bit all over the place, but that should get the job done. <laughs> the cones look like they drunk. Alright, so that should be okay. I gotta go and put some more cones down at the end. But let me move my truck over just a little bit more. Alright, arc ahead, right lane close, and left arrow. Hopefully they'll, oh, hopefully they'll figure out how to get around all of these cones. So we'll put a couple more down over here and then we just have to wait for Ace Towing to come out and recover this thing. she get on this side all right guys so it looks like traffic is able to pass which is perfect so all that we have to do now is wait for ace towing they should be here in a couple of minutes and then we could uh i guess we'll just stand by until they get the plow truck back onto the room so a couple of guys from ace towing have arrived on scene they're just talking to chp about the plan um, they came in one of these roadside ascensor trucks and they said the rotator should be here in about a minute or so. So, still standing by. Alright, looks like there goes Ace Towin with the heavy wrecker. Alright, so let's see how they're going to get this thing out. Alright guys, so Ace Towing Rotator is now on scene. Looks like they're going to boom the arm uh, to the side there and then try to just pull that right back onto the road. 
which actually looks pretty interesting. I guess that's one of the benefits of the rotator being able to work in any direction. Now, if you guys do want to see that, I actually recorded a video of the heavy rescue already. I actually recorded it first because I didn't even plan to do a DOT episode, but I was like, you know what? I might as well do one too. So if you guys do enjoy this one, you guys want to see the whole recovery and how the rotator gets the plow truck back onto the road, make sure you guys check out that video, which I will be posting after this one. And I'll link it in the top right and I'll down below in the video description once it is posted. So definitely make sure you guys subscribe, turn on your notifications. That way you will not miss part two to this episode. And you guys will see how Ace Towing gets the recovery done. So um, traffic is behaving really well, surprisingly. We haven't had any other accidents. They have been yielding and slowing down, so I'm very thankful for that. Uh, for now, we're just going to stay on scene and wait until Ace, to in, Ace Towing do their thing. And uh, yeah, once they're done, we'll get the road opened up. go guys I have to say Ace Toy made that look easy that's pretty crazy but anyway guys the road is now ready to be open um, Ace Toy has gone with the plow truck one of the CHP trucks have left already as well so what we're gonna do is start cleaning up the scene. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these signs and I could technically just remove all of them, but eh, it's okay. Well, we'll play it out that we're actually removing them. And why is this car driving through? Like, what are y'all doing? Ay, 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 it's not that hard, guys. It's not that hard. My truck and then we'll get these last couple of cones eh, you know what let me just grab the cones real quick uh oh sounds like another accident behind us all right let me get my truck out of here before I get hit this board down so we'll clear that and it looks like we are good guys so we was able to safely get the highway opened up we had no major injuries no extra accidents after the first accident because a lot of time with these scenes if you got if you don't like really take control of the situation and make sure that traffic is under control you could have like chain reaction accidents and it, it could just get crazy so i'm happy we we're able to avoid all of that so anyway guys that's gonna do it for today's episode i really do hope you guys enjoyed like i said look out for part two i'm gonna be posting that to so make sure you guys subscribe turn on your notifications also check me out over on facebook instagram youtube twitter TikTok even all at ace pilot 2k7 and feel free to tweet me or you know post the instagram story of your favorite part of the video or any part that you enjoyed really and i will repost you guys on instagram to my story or if you tweet me i'll give you guys a retweet on twitter as well so definitely um, check me out on social media and feel free to share out the video but anyway guys thank you so much for watching really do hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one peace